Thanks for joining me uh, today. I just wanted to uh, share a little bit about my uh, garden and how I'm preparing it for winter and uh, getting it done. Now, one of the things I like to do is um, I like to mulch with grass and uh, and leaves, whatever's on my yard. I don't have a, a lot of space, or a lot, I don't have a lot of space to uh, get organic materials to mulch and stuff like that. So I use my grass and the leaves that come onto my yard, I chop them up, mulch them up on my, with my lawnmower, and then I put it onto my garden, uh, my garden beds. And um, I'm gonna show you a few things, um, just kind of how I do it. So here are my, here are the, uh, my garden beds and I just put down the uh, the mulch right down in the middle and I'm gonna let that set all winter long and here's some stuff that I did earlier in the year uh, just the grass when I got done with this uh, garden bed put down some grass on it to uh, decompose and to uh, um, fertilize the ground there so what's gonna happen is this stuff is gonna decompose over the winter and then next spring uh, when I get it set up uh, next spring, I'm going to be ready to go, and uh, it's going to be mostly decomposed by that time, and we'll be able to uh, uh, start planting and preparing the beds and uh, fracturing the ground, uh, getting it ready for planting of the uh, of the starts, vegetable starts that I'll be planting with. So I've got a few more things to pull out of the garden and uh, get things ready for the winter. Alright, so what I did last year was I just simply, um, I took water, go, took a garden hose and I would just water down all the leaves so that they would not blow away on me. Uh, I didn't want to pick them up tomorrow if we got a big wind today. So I just watered them down and one of the things that the leaves will do as they decompose and create mulch, it's going to help retain the water that we get in the snow and the rains over the winter and it's going to help retain that into the ground, into my garden uh, for the spring and ready get it ready for planting, as well as putting the nutrients um, that are in the plants back into the soil. So it's a plus. Um, now here in the, in the winter time here, or the fall here, I'm getting a lot of uh, I'm getting a lot of leaves because of the the leaves are falling off of the ground, off of the trees and stuff like that. Uh, but all summer long, I put down uh, the grass that I that I mowed. Um, the grass that I mowed, I put that down on my garden as mulch as well all, all summer long and then I put the, the brown leaves um, down for uh, in the fall so over time there's, it's getting a good mix of both green uh, green compost and the, uh, the brown compost as they call it so um, one thing to think about is uh, from what I understand in France there's a practice that only uses leaves uh, for mulch and so um, I use grass and leaves and um, it's what I have available to me, and it's what is uh, it's what's free, so I use it. You know, there's uh, depending on where you live, you might get have different things that are available to you, and uh, different things will be um, easier for you to get a hold of. And so, when you have that stuff, um, like wood chips or something like that, when you have that stuff, you know, use it and utilize it, and um, it'll be a positive thing for your for your garden. So this is my garden. And uh, this is what I've been uh, growing and uh, gardening for the last two years. And I expanded with this these beds on, the, on this side um, this year and uh, tilled them up. Brand new beds. Um, I've got some herbs in there still. And then here's the bed I've been doing for the last two or three years. We've been gardening, on, gardening off of this bed here. And... Uh, it's worked out great. Uh, it uh, is very uh, a good place for a garden. And then here's a few more beds. I just expanded these beds into long rows. Now I have not 
I haven't yet um, tried to see how much I can grow and get the maximum amount of produce out of these gardens, but this next year, maybe the year where I can really push the limits of this garden and see exactly what all I can grow and how much uh, produce I can get out of it. Here's, this is our um, flower garden and uh, I've got some herbs up in here and uh, we've got asparagus back here. I don't know how well that asparagus, asparagus will do um, in the spring. I think it's pretty much over. I think I need to replant it. Um, and then I've got the uh, my uh, rhubarb here that uh, I've got uh, one, two, three, four plants now of the rhubarb. That will be my early spring. Um, we, we'll, it will be my early spring harvest and uh, some nice rhubarb pie. Some delicious, delicious stuff there. So that's my garden, and uh, that's what I've been working with for the last couple of years. So uh, thank you for uh, le for uh, letting me share it with you, and um, show you what I'm doing. Thanks.